All right, y'all, we're back with another Soul Leveling Arise video, and today we got some more leaks uh, credited to uh, Alpha Leaker. He has given us, uh, he or she or they, have given us leaks in the past uh, that did come true. Like, for example, we did have some leaks about, uh, you know, shadows and modes that were coming, and these were all before the game's actual release, and a lot of the changes and stuff, and they did come true. So I can say that this is a trusted and recommended source. Um, so basically, anyways, uh, we can see here that there's going to be uh, artifacts and, and these are going to be new ones. Of we, I've seen these before previously, like there's been like little uh, images and stuff that you can see around through their, uh, their forums and stuff that kind of showed a little bit of it. And then, of course, we've had leaks already previously of there actually being new sets. But here we actually get the details of the sets and we're just going to be talking about them. There's going to be uh, three different sets and we're going to go through each one of them, of course, right? So. First up, we have the Workshop of Brilliant Light Artifacts, right? So this is the Workshop. This is one of the new modes that's going to be coming. Uh, we do not know when, but I am assuming that it's going to be sometime after Alicia's release, whether it be a week after or a half a week after, uh, two and a half weeks or after or so, it's sometime around there. If not, it could be on her release, but I have a feeling that it's going to be a little bit after her release. So this is the Burning Curse set, right? And do keep in mind the percentages and the cooldowns and stuff are uh, subject to change but um it's more likely that the actual effects themselves will remain the same so it's gonna be this this is how they're gonna look it looked pretty pretty cool we're gonna go to the first step so we got the two set effect and it applies the curse effect it increases damage taken by 20 percent so uh this is a uh, self this is a self application so basically you'll take more damage increases damage dealt by 6% and additionally increases damage dealt by 0.1% every one second, stacking up to 100 times. So let me let me get my math here, right? So you'd get 1% every 10, so it'd be 10%, right? It'd be 10% damage dealt on the two set effect. Hmm. I mean, that's still pretty good. But it, of course, it, it's every one second. So after 100 seconds passes, you'll finally get the max stats. So not sounding too good, but there's still more to the, you know, the set. So, I mean, let's not go too crazy just yet. And then we'll, I'll get my full like rundown or breakdown of what I think about the set once we go through it. So now we have the four set effect applies the rescue effect. If the user has 25% HP or less, they recover 25% of their HP and activates only once during battle. So it's kind of similar to the blessing that you start with, uh, the the daily quest blessing. I don't remember if that's what it's called, but it's very similar to that. And But in the sense that you have to be less than 25% HP, not when you actually die, right? So that sounds pretty good. Uh, it's not bad at all. That's actually a nice uh, utility effect. Uh, I don't know how much you still get out of this, though. But I guess it's it does kind of help a little bit since the set two set effect actually does increase the damage taken. So be, having anything that give, gives you like some kind of survivability or recovery would be nice. Unless you could dodge everything in your pro, then I mean, who cares? You know what I'm saying? And then last but not least, we have the eight set effect. The curse effect changes to burning curse. Increases the damage though, increase effect to 30% and then increases the damage the damage dealt additional increase effect is 0.5 percent every se uh, second right and it doesn't it doesn't say if the duration is infinite or permanent like the other one but we're just going to assume that it is and that it also stacks up to 100 times right let's just say that this is just an increase right an increase to the original effect so basically instead of instead of taking uh, instead of increasing damage dealt by six percent it would be 30 percent which is nice that's good to start off with a 30 percent damage dealt increase so overall it's already looking like an amazing set in my opinion it's basically like if you were to have the behemoths like the executioner and then and then having like any kind of set whatever set for uh, your actual uh, armor so i in my opinion Looking like a good set overall, even even though you take 20% more damage, that's its drawback. It's still looking overall good. And then we could talk about the second part, which is it's now going to be 0.5% every one second, right? So you'll get 1% every two seconds, and, and you have a total of 100 seconds on its limit, right? So basically, you would get roughly about 50% damage dealt increase. Which is not bad because if you consider the fact that you already have the 30% and then you get the 
the other 50%, right? Because this should be 50%, right? Yeah, so it should be 50% and then 30%. So basically it's an 80% damage increase and you have a little bit of utility to uh, heal yourself, right? So I think overall, this is probably going to be one of the best sets. If like, it's more of a glass cannon type of uh, set, like that you're going to end up running a glass cannon type of build. So you might want to run other things like double-edged sword and stuff like that. Uh, along with it, if you're using on using it on your Sung Jun Wu. Uh, there is no clarification if it, if this set is for everybody or if it's just specifically just for Sung Jin Wu. But I'm going to assume that it's for everybody and not just him. Uh, so this might actually be a set that people might use all the time, like on every single one of their characters in terms of trying to do DPS outputs. Just because it's an 80% damage though increases, like hey, you can't go wrong with that. Um, I'd probably still even use this over Beast on uh, the Power of Destruction because you'll just have this effect like immediately and then obviously over time the 50% in those 100 seconds that's going to be insane you know you're going to do a lot of damage so then you could just put like blessings that juice your 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 actual raw stats right so overall I'm liking this this is actually a really good set it's probably going to be used uh very uh frequently on a lot of characters all you really have to do is just be really careful with the increased damage taken so that's going to be the first set right so let's go into the second set is this one it is so basically the same as before workshop of green uh light artifact so basically this is going to be the other artifact that you can get inside the new game mode so it looks like this all right we're going to go right into the effect so this one looks like it's going to be more of a supportive utility type damage set well you know let's get right into it called the burning greed and basically here's your two set effect when the user hits a target with a skill that deals break damage it applies the greed effect so naturally you're going to be wanting to use this on a break character uh you could use it on sung jin Wu, uh because then obviously you would have to run break skills right because uh you need to do break damage to apply the greed effects then it increases the user's crit hit rate by one percent stacking up to 10 times so you'll get 10 percent crit hit rate when hit removes the greed effect um interesting when hit removes the greed effect is it like is it like one stack of the greed effect or is it like like every hit removes one stack of the greed effect or or what it, do it doesn't really specify like it just says when hit removes the greed effect like does it remove it entirely or just one stack or instance of it uh not too sure it sounds good but like you probably have to Make sure you don't get hit, right? Very greedy, very selfish. <laughs> right, let's go to the next uh, part. So we got the four set effect. When 10 instances of greed has been applied, it becomes burning greed. Okay, okay, so I see how it is, right? So you have the greed and basically with the greed, you want to get uh, 10 stacks. And once you get 10 stacks, you get burning greed, right? But the two set effect only removes uh, greed, the greed effect, not burning greed, right? So once you get burning greed, you'll have this application and permanently right yeah you have this effect permanently and it'll be an increased stack so basically it's very similar to huang where huang he gets five stacks of impulse and then once he gets those five stacks he'll have impulsive revenge right and then it's on it's on a timer right it's on a timer so basically but obviously this duration is permanent so this sounds actually really insane right like all you have to do is just make sure you do 10 break uh hits 10 break damage hits and then basically you'll get the burning greed and it'll be permanent and remain on the user and the team members crit hit rate and crit hit damage so very good utility support right because like when you run the breaker they they have some nice damage it's not crazy damage but you're usually using the, using them for breaks so just having this application uh it's basically enhancing your main dps's damage as well I think this is very nice, very good uh, effect, especially for a break character where they're not going to be fulfilling the main DPS role unless you get them really duped out. I think this is going to be really good, insane. You're probably going to have so many uh, players actually using this. And then it says it doesn't remove the effect when hit. So basically, once you're in Burning Greed, you're not losing it. And then you cannot activate Greed, right? So it's like you won't be able to build stacks of Greed anymore once you have Burning Greed. So once you get those 10 stacks, that's all you have to do. You'll have this effect and you're good to go, right? And it will remain, it will remain for the remainder of the fight. Sounds pretty good overall. You just got to be careful in the first 10 instances not to get hit. Otherwise, it will take you a lot longer to build those stacks. Got the 8 set effect. The effects of Burning Greed change. 
the crit hit rate increase effect increases to 15%, and then the crit hit damage increase effect increases to 30%. So that's for your team, of course, right? So that is actually nutty. Um, this is this set is actually super good. I actually don't mind it. I think it's really nasty. Like, what the? When attacking enemies that have elemental weakness, the break effect increases by 30%, right? So, so like, you can use this on any break character, and it's just so good because it's increasing, like, things that are not relevant to their actual stats so like for example if you have a character that does uh break damage based on attack percent or one that does it on hp percent or one that does it on defense percent it doesn't matter because this is a this is an increase to crit hit rate crit hit damage right so like this is just for everybody to this is a universal stat used by everybody that is a dps or can do damage right and then being able to increase the break effect by 30 percent, so he's they're still they're still propelling like the break characters like standard to new height so basically they'll be able to break a lot stronger than they already have been and they're increasing your team with support by like giving them more crit hit rate and crit hit damage including themselves and th realistically this is an overall like probably the best set for a uh, big overall like it like it's obviously bake can do break he does really good break he's like one of the best breakers in the game uh he needs crit hit rate and crit hit damage as well so it's like just by this set alone this uh artifact set it's fulfilling everything that he needs this is definitely going to be one of his best sets to use on him this this set is absolutely insane so so far out of the two sets i'm really liking both um the first one by far i think is going to be the most relevant one that you're going to be using on a lot of characters but this one's definitely going to be the best in slot for like most break characters for like now and further down the line right oh, so yeah w set all right, uh, there's still one more set that I'd like to talk about. Let me see if I can get to it. Okay, so we got the Workshop of Brilliant Light Artifacts, so the Burning Blessing set. Boom. And do keep in mind, a lot of this is subject to change, but we're just going to take this at face value with the information we have now. Uh, of course, they might change it later, and then stats might be a little bit less and all that. But so far from like the original information, this one that we have currently, I think they're all pretty insane from the two that we've just reviewed, right? So let's just get right into it and talk about the set effect, right? So we got the two set effect. When tagging out applies the blessing effect to team members, and then it increases the user's damage dealt by 10%, right? Okay, so that's, hmm. Okay, so so even though it says to the user's damage, increases the user's damage dealt, this, the, the blessing effect applies to team members, right? So as long as you go into it, Hmm, I wonder how the tagging out works, right? Because it applies it to the blessing effect to team members and it's plural, right? Like it doesn't even have parentheses or anything. So like as long as you tag out the character that has this set, do, does he apply blessing to all your team members? Because it says two team members, right? And you would assume plural means like the rest of them, right? Overall, cooldown 20 seconds with a 15 a second duration, which means you only have five second uh, downtime. Which is fine because is as long as you're doing your timing correctly and your rotations right, uh, 15 seconds is more than enough time. And then once you go back into your character, whoever has this set, those five second downtime, you could just manage on them and then go right back into your other two characters for your rotation once again. So I think it's pretty good that you basically essentially have 100% uptime like for your main DPS. And then it increases the user damage level by 10%. Yeah, 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 we already talked about that. The four set effect, the blessing effect changes. To become the burning blessing effect so now so naturally with these sets you want to go for like eight sets so far from what i've seen the other two sets you want to have make sure that you always go for the a set because you get an increased version of it right i don't think there is any that you would go for like less than a set because your eighth set eventually like basically increases the first the two set and the four set effect by even more now, there might be some other cases, like some characters that might not want it, like Huang, for example, you might still want to have the very distant on him just so you could get your uh, cooldown reduction on your skills. But overall, I think most characters are still going to be running, rocking a full eight set effect of this. So I kind of wonder what, what's going to become of the relevancy of the actual encores that are currently up with the artifacts. Who knows if we'll still even be using this once these drop, because these are sounding kind of nice right now. And let me continue where I left off. So we read off the first sentence. Activates when a, char uh, when a character tags out or a support skill is used. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely going to be using this on Min. Because, I mean, if you use Min as a support character and you're using Sun Jin Wu as your 
your obviously your DPS, right? Because you're using it for story or whatever, and it requires him. This this is still even proccing, even when it's a support skill, which means he's getting a damage boost as well. This is actually nice. Super nice, super, super nice. Especially when you pair it up with Min, who increases the enemy's damage taken. Yep. Increases the user's damage dealt by 12% and, and the user recovers 0.4% of their HP every second for 15 seconds. And the cooldown is 20 seconds. So like I said before, in most cases, aside from when you're using some Jewel, in most cases in a Hunter team scenario, this 5 second downtime doesn't really matter that much if you're doing your rotations fast enough and you're getting right back to the character, right? If, you're, if you have a character that needs to be on field for a long time, then there might be a little bit more downtime than 5 seconds, but overall you should be, this duration shouldn't be too much of an issue. Alright, now we got the 8 set effect, the burning blessing effect change. So basically this is the, an increase to the 4th fourth, the fourth set effect and the, the 2 set effect. Damage though increase effect increases to 20% and your HP recovery effect increases to 0.7% and the duration increases to 20 seconds. So basically, you will have 100% uptime. Granted, your your main DPS isn't on the field for longer than like maybe 15 seconds, right? Because let's say you do get to your main DPS, by that time there'll be like 15 seconds on your duration. Granted, you're not getting hit by the boss or anything. So this, in, in, in most cases, you'll have this up for actually like 10 to 13 seconds on average. And then good cases, you'll be at 15 seconds at least, right? Where you'll have this up while you're on your main DPS. Dam damage dealt increased 20% and 0.7% HP recovery, right? So that's that's really good. And the cooldown is 20 seconds routine. You can have 100% uptime on the character that's using it. In your team rotations, you might not have 100%, like I just uh, mentioned before. But the 0.7% HP recovery every second for 20 seconds is really nice. I don't remember how, how long the support skills are for, but I'm pretty sure... They're like 20 seconds or something, right? So you'll always almost have this all the time. This set is going to be amazing for, for any of your characters that use on um, support for Sun Jin Wu, right? Like, just having that, I don't, I don't know, bro. I, I don't know what they were thinking with these sets. All these sets are really nice. It, it just kind of really sucks that you really need to have an 8 set effect. So now actually trying to grind those pieces are actually going to be a big pain. Like... You thought grinding your sets were bad before, now it's going to be even worse. Imagine, you have to you have to get the stats you want, you have to get the substats you want, you have to make sure that you get the correct set and out of the three. And then also you have to, you know, get the correct like, like typing for your uh, bracelet, which has to be, you know, if it's a fire character, a fire character, if it's a light character, a light character. That's just crazy and you need eight of them, right, to complete the set effect. So eight different pieces with with like all the stats you want on it <laughs> brother i think we're gonna be here for a long while and i don't even the workshop if i remember correctly is not like you could just spam it either like like it has keys it's as well right just like the other stuff but i'm pretty sure it's more of a weekly content if i'm not if, if i'm not mistaken i do have it in one of my past videos but it's been quite a while since i actually uh talked about it and it's basically with that mode uh, coming it's going to be a, quite a while right like that's going to be getting all these artifacts like we don't know how the, the actual workshop of brilliant light actually functions like all i know is that we have keys for it and with those keys you have to you know go into the stage and they reset i'm pretty sure weekly or something and you could get more by buying more or something like that We'll see how that ends up, but holy grinding these, these are definitely going to be the end game gears that you're going to want to grind for, but they're definitely going to be difficult to actually getting the ones that you want for your characters. But yeah, uh, I mean, those are the three sets. Uh, thank you very much to Alfred Leaker for, as usual, for, you know, obviously sharing all the leaks with the community as usual. And, you know, this helps, uh, content creators and, you know, influencers or whatever, you know, kind of spread it to the community. So everybody's aware of what's going to what's going to happen and you know you can prep in advance right so let me know what you guys think about the set effects i think all the sets are amazing all three of them are really good i'm really digging the curse and the you know what i was gonna say the curse and the blessing but ah, man the greed one is really good too for great characters so i think they're all really well designed um I, although i am a little bit worried by the amount of damage dealt increase that you're getting between the greed, I mean, not the greed, but like the curse 
because like getting 80 percent damage dealt increase is kind of i feel like that's too much well we'll see like i said or well not like i said but more like how alpha leaker said they are subject to change so maybe they'll kind of lower it i i just really think 80 percent overall is just way too much an 80 percent damage dealt increase right like you could get 30 percent just passively right like just just going in right like it like what's the point of even using behemoth when you need to be for behemoth or executioner you need to be you know enemy has to be below 70 percent hp or the other one has to you have to be below uh 70 percent hp or something like that it's like it's like why even run that when you could just run the curse set and just increase damage taken by 20 percent and you already have the 30 percent damage only increase it's kind of crazy. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. But yeah, anyways, before I keep ranting on, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and you know, comment below on your thoughts of these uh, new sets that are going to be coming out. And of course, as usual, there will be another future in, uh, another future video in God knows what's going to be out. We just kind of do them on the spot. And I mean, it is what it is with you. I hope you guys have a blessed day because God dang, I've been talking for way too long. Peace.